You know what's interesting? I was just thinking about this um, from a jiu-jitsu perspective. How long have you been training jiu-jitsu for? Since 2012. 2012. On and off. Lots of off. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's interesting is, you know people, like you take a normal dude. Yeah. And you say, hey, what? Dude, that doesn't train. And you think, hey, if you get in a fight, what would you do? And they kind of like, they kind of think, what is it? That the, hey, I just see red, bro. <laughs> you know, I go off, bro. Like, that's kind of what they think. They think that that is how they're going to fight. And that's how they would win in a fight. Like, hey, I'll just freaking make it happen. And that's totally ignorant. That's one of the most ignorant things you could say. And if you go against someone that's trained, then you're absolutely going to lose. But there's also a really good chance you'll lose anyways. Imagine this. There's people that go, that are in leadership positions that their mentality is that exact same thing. Hey, oh, if I'm in charge, I'll tell people what to do, I'll handle it. Mm-hmm. And and they could literally learn jujitsu for leadership. We have jujitsu for leadership. It's like an amazing untapped knowledge that like the Gracies, the Gracies brought jujitsu to the world. And all of a sudden people are like, oh, I can choke people. I don't, I can defeat someone that's bigger than me. I can avoid getting hit. Like there's all these amazing things that we literally did not know as humans. We did not know. And if you would've gotten a fight in, if I would've gotten into a fight in 1990 or 1991, I would like, do what my instincts are, throw haymakers, whatever, like whatever it is a human, is gonna do is what I would do. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I learned, oh, the joke, the arm, like all of a sudden you know what to do. And now you can handle all these situations. And it's the same thing with what we teach. It's like, oh, this isn't some, this isn't some mysterious thing. Like here's, oh, this is an arm lock. It's called cover and move. Here's uh, taking the back. This is keeping things simple. You can actually learn maneuvers for leadership. And that's what hits people when they're going through our programs. You can see it in their face, they're like, oh, oh, I remember when a guy was doing this to me and all I had to do back was was diminish, you know, demit, reflect and diminish. I could have taken that angry person and t- reflected some of those emotions but diminish them and then I could reflect it in such a way that they would realize that I'm on their side and then we'd be able to have a real conversation and move this thing forward. That's one move. There's all these moves you can learn. And man, it's just like, this. you know what? It's actually the same look when somebody does jujitsu in whatever moment, because different people get it at a different time, that moment where they go, oh, this is amazing. Like, oh, it all makes sense. I think it's sometimes when people realize that, you know, oh, and then you sweep them and you're in the mount and they go, oh, it all is connected. <laughs> You see that look in their eyes, and I see that look in their eyes. That's what you're talking about, like the guy that you're talking oh, yeah. about that came back at the end of the day, like, hey, can I come tomorrow? Because he realized that it's all connected, that leadership is a skill, that he could actually utilize these tools to go out there and lead his team with with skills and with techniques and with procedures, moves. Man, it's f- freaking empowering. <laughs>